لكن تحديت الظروف وخذتها وحدي صبورا مستعينا بالصلاة كم مرة عصف الأنين بداخلي كم مرة قد ذاك قلبي من أساح وكم كرهت مصابها بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين ما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الله يبارك فيك uh, to all of you that are watching and tuning in today and I, ne I never say this and someone, one of the brothers said to me why don't you say like, share and subscribe like, like the video, share it and subscribe to the channel so I think, you know what, I, I thought to myself I've never said it, I don't think Probably in my early uh, videos, but not like as the videos have been consistent over the past two, three years. So yeah, like, share and subscribe. And obviously, um, also like, share the other videos as well. This video is slightly different. I'm not sort of uh, focusing on uh, the Super Salafis, uh, the Ultra Najdi slash Closet Takfiris. Uh, it's a different uh, topic. And there's going to be a future video which uh, will be very, very interesting. Um, very lengthy as well. So I've got that to record, but again, Ramadan is literally a week away and this is my last video uh, for this uh, particular period as, as I do always take a break during Ramadan Sheikh Abdul Qadir Al Jilani rahmatullah alayhi, is a famous Imam he is very much uh, respected uh, across all persuasions uh, more so the super Ash'ari slash Sufis or the other way around the super Sufis slash Ash'aris and what they've done is they've fabricated so much lies uh, to him uh, and on top of that what they don't know is he is an absolute nemesis when it comes to his aqidah, when it comes to his manhaj, etc. And this is what this video will prove. That Sheikh Abdul Qadir Al Jilani Rahmatullah really and truly, if he was alive today, he will make bara from these super Sufis slash Ash'aris who tried to claim him. Now what I'm going to do is just show you first that even the Ash'aris knew, um, the, the, the Ash'aris of the past knew that his aqidah was, according to them, something that was questionable. Now as an athari, obviously, I have the same aqidah as Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani when it comes to Allah's names and attributes and his manhaj as well. But this is um, honing into the fact that the super Sufi slash Ash'aris have completely ignored that element and try to claim his spirituality. Now, funny enough, you don't want to take his aqidah, you don't want to take his manhaj, but you want to claim his spirituality. It's very much pick and choose uh, when it comes to Sheikh Abdul Qadir Al Jilani, as like they like to call Sultan Al Awliya, especially where I'm from, Pakistan, and there's a lot of extremism and ghulu from my part of the world or from my parents' part of the world as being Pakistani. Uh, they call him a peer and a peer. You know, like he's the, the, the peer of all peers. Uh, but, you know, and I attribute many lies to it. But let, let's go into it. As you can see on screen, we've got the book, Sira, Alami Nubala. By Imam al Dahabi, Rahmatullah Alayhi. Because you on screen, it mentions, Qala Shaykhuna Al Hafidhu Abu Hussein Ali bin Muhammad, Samiatu Sheikh Abdul Aziz ibn Abdul Salam, Al Fakih Shafi'i. Now, this is Al Iz ibn Abdul Salam, okay, the famous Shafi'i jurist. Yaqul, and he said, Ma nukilat ilayna karamatu ahadin bit tawatiri illa Sheikh Abdul Qadir. It mentions that our Sheikh, the Hafid Abdul. Hussein Ali ibn Muhammad heard Sheikh Abdul Aziz ibn Abdul Salam, meaning Al Iz ibn Abdul Salam, the Shafi'i jurist, mentioned the karamat, meaning the miracles, of anyone, okay, have not been narrated through us, or to us rather, uh, through tawatir, okay, through mutawatir, meaning mass transmission, except of Sheikh Abdul Qadir al Jilani, okay, so look at that, subhanAllah adim. So the karamat that have been narrated to us regarding the karamat of Sheikh uh, Abdul Qadir al-Jilani have not been narrated through uh, to uh, through mass transmission except of uh, except of Sheikh Abdul uh, Sheikh Abdul Qadir al-Jilani. وقيل له it is said to Sheikh Al-Izzah Abdul Salam, هذا ما اعتقاده فكيف هذا? Look at that. Even those Ash'aris at that time were saying, you're you're saying that his miracles have been transmitted with you know mass tawatir, but how is that with his aqidah that he has? How is this? So even they knew he was a Athari. He was an athari, ahl al ithbat. You get it? The same, uh, you know, accusations or, or you know, taunts that you label, you know, just as Sheikh al Islam ibn or the athari's of today. Why don't you point your arrows towards Sheikh al uh, Abdul Qadir al Jilani? Even the Ash'aris at that time, in the time of Al Izzah al Salam, was saying, Faqila lahu, or Faqila lahu, they were said to him, Hada ma'a tiqadihi, fa kayfa hada. This with his belief, like, how can he have miracles when he has 
a certain belief. And we'll get to that later. Uh, for Kaifa Hada, how is this? Then Imam Madahab is commenting now. He says, Qultu. This is basically referring to Abdul Qadir al Jilani's affirmation of the Sifat of Ulu. He affirms the, uh, the Sifat of Ulu and what is similar to that. Look at that. What is similar to that as well. So not just the Sifat of Ulu, what is similar to that. And then Imam Dahabi says that, and the Madhab of the Hanabila regarding, you know, Ithbat of the uh, names or attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is known. That they basically follow on what, is, what has been established uh, by their Imam, Imam Ahmed. Okay? Except, okay, what they sort of left off or separated and basically took at liberties in relation to their expression. Okay? Um, meaning in the Ibarat. Okay. So coming back to me now, subhanAllah al-Azim. He affirmed Allah's names and attributes. And as, as I mentioned earlier, and I need to, um, you know, focus on that. They said, meaning the Ash'aris at that time, and Izz Abdul Salam was one of the heads of the Ash'ara. They said, uh, This with his belief, how is that? And then Imam Zahabi mentioned that he affirms the Sifat of Aru, and obviously he, um, and, and other things like that. And this is the mother of the Hanabila, etc. Now, what did Ibn Kathir say about Sheikh Abdul Qadir al Jilani? So, as you can see in my hand, okay, I've got Al Bidai wa Nihaya, okay, Al Bidai wa Nihaya. And as you can see on screen, okay, Imam Ibn Kathir mentions when he's mentioning the biography of Sheikh Abdul Qadir al Jilani, he mentions that he's dignified, he basically um, he was quiet except when he was uh, enjoying the good and forbidding the evil, didn't really care about the worldly gain. And then Ibn Kathir mentions, وَلَهُ أَحْوَالٌ مُكَاشَفَاتٌ That he has basically miracles like مُكَاشَفَات ascribed to him وَلِعِتِبَاعِهِ وَأَصْحَابِهِ فِيهِ مُقَالَاتٌ Then Ibn Kathir mentions that his followers and his companions spoke about that you know about his actions, about his miracles etc. But what did Ibn Kathir say? SubhanAllah Adim where the arrow is over وَيَذْكُرُونَ عَنْهُ أَقْوَالًا وَأَفْعَالًا مُكَاشِفَاتٍ أَكْثَرُهَا he says that what has been narrated by his followers, etc., a lot of it, okay, a lot of it was basically, you know, exaggerations and mughalat, but basically they're over exaggerated. And he was a righteous, pious man, okay. Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani was a righteous, pious man. And what did he say? He wrote a book called Al Ghunya, which we're going to get to. وَفِيهَا أَشْيَاءُ حَسَنَةٌ That in those books are very, a lot of good stuff. وَلَكِنْ ذَكَرَ فِيهِمَا أَحَادِيثَ كَثِيرَةً دَعِيفَةً In this book, Al-Ghunya and, and uh, uh, Futuh Al-Ghayb, and he wrote another book as well, we're going to get to. A uh, lot of fabricated, okay, a lot of fabricated, weak narration. The Ibn Kathir finishes off and says, وَبِالْجُمْلَةِ كَانَ مِنْ سَادَاتِ الْمَشَائِخِ الْكِبَارِ That in short, in summary, he is a, a big, uh, massive sheikh. Okay? A massive sheikh. So, here you go. We got Al-Bidai wa Nihaya by Ibn Kathir. Now, as we present from Imam al-Dahabi, okay, that he basically had an aqeedah, uh, which was, obviously, he affirmed the names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The book Ibn Kathir was referring to was this one, Al-Ghunyatu. Okay, Al-Ghunyatu. We're going to go into this in great detail, but we're going to present another book before this. Now, I'm fully aware of Ibn Hajar al-Haytami's comments, so we're going to get to that later. So, those who are claiming the book has interpolation, Al-Bayinatu ala Muddai. Al-Bayinatu ala Muddai. The one that makes the claim needs to prove it. So, there's four main chapters in this book. Okay, four main chapters. And uh, Imam Dahabi also mentioned here, uh, his uh, sifat of, uh, uh, his uh, affirmation of the sifat. So, you got Al-Fiqh, the first um, uh, Qism. Then you got al i'tiqad okay, the second. Then the third chapter, Mujalisu fil mawa'id al-Qur'an wal al al nabuwa So that's the fourth, uh, the third one. And the fourth chapter is Fada'ilu al-A'mal, okay, Fada'ilu al-A'mal. We're going to go into this. So if the book's been interpolated, what aspect has been interpolated? So you need to prove that. The proof is on you. But before we get to that, okay, I'm going to present another book. Okay, I'm going to present another book. And what we're going to ask is, okay, Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani rahmatullahi al-Athari. Okay, and a person who affirms Allah's names and attributes, we're going to show you with many, uh, many proofs. So, he wrote another book, which connects with the statements in here. We're going to get to al ghunya too later. So, what book is that? As you can see on the screen, we've got the book, al fathur Rabbani wal Faydul Rahmani. Okay, this is by Sheikh Abdul Qadir Al-Jilani, Rahmatullah Sheikh Abdul Qadir Al-Jilani mentions in this book, which is another book of his, okay, to show you that 
this connection to the statements in Al-Ghunya. He says, أَمَّا تَسْتَحُونَ يَسِفُ الْحَقْ عَزَّ وَجَلْ نَفْسَهُ بِالصِّفَاتِ يَرْضَاهَا لَهُ That he mentions, that don't you feel ashamed that Allah mentioned those attributes for him, which he liked for him, and what does he say? And you make ta'wil of them and return them to him, meaning tafweed. So you t- return them back to him. This is tafweed. Then what does Sheikh Abdul Qadir Al-Jalani mentioned? He said, isn't it enough? For you to have basically Iman like the Sahaba and the Tabi'een About what? Look what it says That our Lord is Azza wa Jal Ala Arshi He is above his throne Like he mentions Without any Tashbih Look at that Clear Like we say Without any Tashbih Wala Ta'teel Without sort of Stopping on it Okay And what else? Wala Tajseem and without any touch seam. Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani in his other book, Fathur Rabbani wa Faidur Rahmani, he mentions, subhanAllah al Adim, that our Lord Azza wa Jalla ala arshi kama qala min ghayri tashbihi wa la ta'teelin wa la touch seam. That we affirm Allah the Bobby's throne in a manner that befits his majesty, okay, without any touch without similarity to the creation, of course, and without ta'teel, without sort of postponing it without saying, you know, you know negating it or sort of thing and without any tajseem to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is free from body parts we say this, this is what Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jalani says in his other book, not al ghunya that you say has been interpolated this is another book of his so is this been interpolated as well now? okay, now look what he said before it he said are you shy? yusifu al-haq azza wa jal nafsahu bi sifati yardaha that are you shy or ashamed that you basically um, describe attributes for he, which he liked for himself which Allah affirmed it for himself and you make ta'wil ta- of them you make ta'wil of them the Asha'ira the modern day Asha'ira make ta'wil of them and they return them to him meaning ta'wil Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani is refuting you so if you want to take the Qadri Tariqah why don't you take his creed why don't you take his creed Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani now when it comes to about asking other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala subhanallah al-azim so Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani mentions about where are those who are fasting where are those who are you know uh, who witness the Ramadan etc and then he says by Allah, the destroyer of pleasures has reached them. I mean, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taken their souls. And the mosque, etc., are empty. They can't harm or benefit themselves. So those who are dead can't harm or benefit themselves. As you can see where it says, says here, they, they are unable to cause you benefit or harm. But the people of the graves, basically, they can't get rid of their sins. And they can't even free themselves. Look at that. And what does he say? They are dead. And they can't even speak. Okay, they are dead and they can't even speak. So if they're dead and they can't even speak, how, they, how can they assist you in terms of, you know, uh, calling upon them, like Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jalal, like the Sheikh himself? They can't. They can't benefit you at all. Look what he says in his other book, Al Fathur Rabbani wa Faidur Rahmani. Look what he says. Abdul Qadir Jalal, rahmatullah, says, Ya man yashku ila al khalqi. That look at those who complain, meaning regarding their hardships and their calamities, etc. To those who are creatures like them, who are creation like them. And they cannot benefit or take harm from you. Okay, they can't. Those who are dead can't take benefit or harm from you. He carries on, he says, obviously, that if you repent, etc. Then check out the Qadir Jalani, that's where the, where the arrow's over. He says that you seek to, you know, rid of your hardships and your calamities and your complaints. To who? Il al khalqi To the creation. Okay? To the creation. So why are you complaining to the khalq? Okay, to the creation. When you should be complaining to Allah Azza wa Jal. Sheikh Abdul Qadir al Jilani is saying this, Ya al Tasawwuf, or these modern day Tasawwuf. Let's carry on. Look what Sheikh Abdul Qadir al Jilani says. He says, Waylak, woe to you. Ain't you ashamed that you seek your needs from other than Allah? Min ghayri Allah Azza wa Jal. And what do you say? That he is closer to you than others. So look, Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jalani is saying to you, super Sufis, Waylak, may you be destroyed. Are you ashamed that you seek your needs or your request from someone other than Allah? Min ghayri Allah Azza wa Jal, wa huwa aqrabu ilayka min ghayrihi. That he is closer to you than any others. I, listen, you people need to wake up. It is, it is painful to see when you call upon Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jalani and all these other people. Sheikh Abdul Qadir Rahmatullah also mentions, he says, follow and do not innovate and agree, wafaqu, agree with meaning the principles of religion and do not oppose and obey and do not 
disobey or become those of sin. Have sincerity and don't associate. Do not do any shirk. And Sheikh Abdul Qadir Al Jilani mentioned something very important. As the arrows over, it says, Wahadul Haq Azza wa Jal. That accept Allah as one, Azza wa Jal, and do not turn away from Him. And then, look at this, subhanAllah, where the arrows over again, it says, Ask Him. وَلَا تَسْأَلُوا غَيْرِهِ And do not ask anyone else. Subhanallah al-Azim. Then he says, And seek aid in him. And do not seek aid in anyone else. Then he ends by saying, تَوَكَّلُوا عَلَيْهِ وَلَا تَتَوَكَّلُوا عَلَى غَيْرِهِ That seek trust in him and do not seek trust in anyone else. So as it mentions, ask him, only Allah Azza wa Jal for your hajat. See how Sheikh Abdul Qadir al-Jalani says, ask him. Do not ask anyone else. Now these are qualities, meaning dua. And we're going to get to the istighatha video we got to do. That dua, asking for your hajat, asking for your needs, asking for protection, asking for children, asking for remover of calamities and troubles. These are something that is khasais of Allah Azza wa Jal. This is only specific to Allah Azza wa Jal. No one is able to grant you refuge or protection or aid or wealth or health or, you know, uh, children, only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what I'm going to do, I'm play a video where certain members of the extreme Sufi in, you know, the, the origin of my parents' country, uh, as I'm a Pakistani, how they've fallen into extremes and they've gone against what Sheikh Abdul Qadir al-Jilani is teaching. Have a listen. Behtreen amal arz karta hoon, jiska naam rakka hai Baghdadi Nuskha. Ho sakya toh isko likh li jiye. Sara saal inshallah hafatoh, musibatoh, se mahfuz rehne ka yeh Baghdadi Nuskha hai. تو جو کوئی سالانہ گیارویں رات گیارہ کھجوریں لیں اور گیارہ کھجوروں پر میرے گیارویں والے پیر صاحب شہنشاہ بغداد کے گیارہ نام پڑھ کر اس پر دم کر لیں اور راتوں رات کھا لیں تو انشاءاللہ سارا سال آفتوں مصیبتوں اور بلاؤں سے محفوظ رہے گا چلیے سرکار بغداد شہن شاہ غوث پاک کے گیارہ نام بھی لکھ لیجئے یا شیخ محید دین یا سید محید دین یا مولانا محید دین یا مخدوم محید دین یا درویش محید دین یا خواجہ محید دین یا سلطان محید دین یا شاہ محید دین یا غاف محید دین یا قطب محید دین یا سید السادات عبدالقادر محید دین یو سی دیس ایز شرک نو دا اباری you know, like Imam al-Dahabi rahmatullah alayhi as the mental deranged freak trying to, you know, <laughs> trying to use it against me. For in kana la kufra fihi. If this statement, what we just witnessed there, doesn't have kufr in it, fama fi dunya kufr. And there is no kufr in the dunya if that statement isn't kufr right there. So to those extreme Sufis, especially from the, the country uh, that where my parents are from, Pakistan, and has been a Pakistani, please, for the love of Allah Azza wa Jal, stop this um, association uh, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You are asking a man who he, he himself in his book is saying, don't ask anyone other than Allah Azza Seek aid from him, don't seek aid from anyone else. Now, again, I'll, I'll go into, uh, you know, the, after Ramadan, I'm going to go into a very important video regarding al istighatha al istishfa and al tawassul. It's be very elaborative. Now, something that has a khasais of Allah Azza wa and I'm talking to those extreme Sufis now. We know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that provides. He's the Raziq. We know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Al-Wahhab. He's the giver. Okay, he, him alone. Now leave about, you know, the Qudra and Allah. Don't, we're going to get that into, a, uh, into that in a different video. What am I saying? That you are asking Sheikh Abdul Qadir Al-Jilani Rahmatullah Alay for your needs. To remove calamities, to remove worries, to remove, you know, problems. You're seeking his aid. You're asking him directly. But the man himself is telling you, don't ask anyone apart from Allah Azza wa Jal. 
This is a tawheed. This is a tawheed. Now, when it comes to, okay, does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them the ability? <laughs> All right. Don't worry. We're going to tackle that in another video. This is the video. This is more to do with Sheikh Abdul Qadir al-Jilani. We have had enough. And when you travel around the subcontinent, you see trees, you know, with all sorts of strings around it. And they believe that this was the tree where one, you know, peer or holy man leaned, uh, you know, backwards and, and uh, you know, leaned back on. And now this tree somehow has some sort of special virtues. And, uh, please, it's ridiculous. Now, when it comes to Ibn Hajar al-Haythami, as you can see on screen, he comments on about, you know, the book Al-Ghunni has been interpolated, as you can see on screen. And like I said before, He's an Ash'ari. Ibn Hajar al-Haytham is an Ash'ari. And he's saying he's been tampered, you know, etc. Yeah, look, he provides no proof. These are just allegations, as you can see on screen. And what we would like to ask is that when Al-Iz ibn Abdul Salam mentions about the miracles, and then the people said, Hada uh, ma'a like with his belief, how is this? They knew. You know, Al-Izz ibn Abdul Salam, Sheikh ibn Hajar, uh, Imam ibn Hajar al-Haytham, he was way later. You understand, he was like the 9th century, 10th century Hijri. Al-Izz ibn Abdul Salam was like the 6th or 7th century, you know, 200 years plus, if not more. You could claim he's been interpolated. As I said, Al-Bayyinatu ala mudda'i, Al-Bayyinatu ala man idda'a. That you need to claim, and you need to prove this claim, that you, it's been tampered with. So, like I said, Rahmatullah alayhi, Sheikh Abdul Qadir al-Jilani, who were the leading Imams of the Hanabila, what does he say? What is he telling you? you call, and then you have the nerve to call yourself Qadiris. <laughs> I'm talking about those uh, extreme Sufis. You got, you got the nerve to call yourself Qadiris. So claim this book has been tampered. No problem. Okay. No problem. Claim this book has been tampered. But we've reconciled what the statements in this book with another book of Sheikh Abdul Qadir al-Jilani. Do you understand what I'm saying? We've connected it with another book of his. And it states the exact same thing. Sheikh Abdul Qadir al-Jilani is an Athari. Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani affirms Allah's names and attributes and, and other things we're going to show you as well. So as you can see on screen, we've got the book Al-Ghuniya. This is the chapter, the second chapter. And then he mentions, subhanAllah Adim. Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani presents a verse um, which with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that the heavens will be grasped by Allah with his right hand. Okay. And then he mentions a, a narration from uh, Nafi' and Ibn Umar anhumah, that when the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa was on a mimbar and read this verse, okay, he said, okay, and this is Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani mentioned this, that in his right hand, he will throw it, meaning the, 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 the heavens, he will throw it like a ghulam throws a ball. This is Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani saying this. And then he says, then he says, Thumma yaqul. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ana azizun, and I am the aziz. And then he mentioned that he, uh, what's he called, Ibn Umar saying that he had seen the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam move on the mimbar as if he was going to fall down. Okay? As if he was going to fall down. Then Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jalani mentions that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created Adam bi yadihi ala suratihi. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created Adam with his hand uh, ala suratihi. Then he mentions he created the, the he planted uh, the gardens of heavens, uh, Eden, sorry, with his hand. And he planted the, uh, uh, the tree of Tuba with his hand. And he wrote the Torah with his hand. Look at this. And he gave it to Musa from his hand to his hand. So let me repeat that back. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wrote the Torah with his hand and he gave it to Musa with his hand, to Musa's hand, from his hand. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's hand. Qadir Jilani also mentions, he says, uh, That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in the direction of above. This is what Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani said. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in the direction of above. Okay? Above his throne. Okay? Above his throne. So, okay. Next, Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani says, It is imperative that the sifat of istiwa is without that wheel. Okay, and his, his, his istiwa is of his that, is of his that, of his essence. Okay, above his throne. And it's not meaning sitting like and, and, and touching like the mujassima say. The Sha'ar accused us of that, subhanAllah. But look what Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani said. La ala ma'na al-ulu wa rafa'a kama qalat al-ash'ariya. Okay, so he's refuting the ash'ari here. Okay. Wa la ala al-ma'na al-istayla wa ghalaba kama qalat mu'tazila. And he mentions that it's not like taking control over something or overpowering like the mu'tazila say. Then he mentions that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends to the heavens of the uh, skies uh, as he wants. Kayfa yasha wa kamasha. Look at that. How he wants and like he wants. So you see, where's the tafweed? Where's the tafweed here that relegating it to Allah? Where's the ta'wil here? He says, how he wants. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, ya'alikullah jalali wa azmati. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala befits his majesty. 
And then he mentions, uh, and he forgives who he wants of the mistakes and the crimes and those who are mistaken, uh, who he chooses from his slaves, etc. But then he mentions, it's not by the meaning of mercy and reward, as it's claimed by the Mu'tazila wal Ashariya, as it's claimed by the Mu'tazila and the Ashariya. So Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jalani is putting the Mu'tazila and the, Ash uh, the Ashara or the Ashariya together. Subhanallah al-Azim. So you see, Sheikh Abdul Qadir al-Jilani, we collected it to Fathur Rabbani wa Faidur Rahmani. That he is ala arshihi. Now we corrected it to al-ghunya, ala arshihi. And he also mentions the nuzul about the asha'ira, and it's not, not what the asha'ira claim. We presented it from al-ghunya, and what we presented from fathur rabbani. So where's the interpolation? Okay. Now you claim that, so you need to go to the makhtutat. You need to compare the makhtutat and say, okay, there's some inter interpolation here from this manuscript or there's an interpolation from here from this manuscript or this original manuscript is the original one as you can see there's a discrepancy between the two you need to prove that so once again this fanaticism and extremism that we're finding from the super salafis when it comes to muhammad ibn abdul wahab and, and you know that sort of persuasion we got the super sufis and the uh, super ash'aris also living in absolute denial so i quoted obviously as well uh, ibn kathir what he said about Sheikh Abdul Qadir Al Jilani and what has been attributed to him, especially from his followers, and you know what did, what were the words he used? Obviously, you know you 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 obviously read it. So, please, to all my brothers and sisters, it's clear that Sheikh Abdul Qadir Al Jilani, one of the leading imams of the Hanabila, is an is an athari. Okay, so you want to claim your Qadiris, but you want to leave his Aqidah and Manhaj. That, to me, does not make any sense. If you want to be Qadiris, be complete, okay? Don't cherry pick. Take exactly what he was teaching and follow upon the Manhaj that he was upon, okay? And you're living in denial. Sheikh Abdul Qadir Al Jilani Rahmatullah Alayhi Al Athari um, is a nemesis to you. I don't know what to say. This is a lengthy video. So much evidences. So take care of yourselves. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa Muhammad. ليس الغريب غريب الشام واليمن إن الغريب غريب اللحد والكفن إن الغريب له حق لغربته على المقيم في الأوطان والسكن سفر بعيد وزاد يبلغني وقوتي ضعفت والموت يطلبني ما أحلم الله عني حيث أمهلني وقد تماديت في ذنب ويسترني تمر ساعة أن